Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lean Heart. We're more than a channel, we are a community heart squad. Today, I'll be opening up these vintage Platinum Rising Rival blister packs from over 10 years ago, or about 10 years ago, I think. I mean, it was like nine or 10 years, but I'll be opening these up very shortly, but I got two things, so very important things I have to tell you guys. One, I'm doing a meetup in real life this upcoming Saturday at GameStop, GameStop at Park in Preston from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. It is in a Barnes & Nobles, the GameStop, but it is like one of the biggest GameStops in the entire world. I'll put more information in the description below, but like I said, it's a meetup. I'm gonna meet you guys. I'll bring things that I'm gonna be giving away, like Leonhardt merch. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Check the Teespring link if you wanna see examples of Leonhardt merch in the description below. It's amazing stuff. And then I'll be giving away like cards, Ash Ketchum cards, the Ashes Pikachu cards. It's, it's going to be a lot of fun, but I'll, it's going to be at the GameStop at Park in Preston this upcoming Saturday from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Let me know if you can make it. Go check out my Twitter. Just let me know on my Twitter, Instagram, anywhere that you will be making it or if you will be trying to make it. In the in the Even in the comment section below, that'll be pretty cool too because I check the comment section every single day, guys. So that's going to be fun, and it just allows me to meet you guys. The second thing is... I have another vintage, whoa, I'm like hitting all the, the stands here. I have another vintage box, which I will be opening up this weekend if this video hits 2,000 likes. This was a gifted box to me by Limitless Games. You should go check them out. This is a very, very old box, and it comes with so many amazing things. There's like dust on it because it is so old, but if this video gets to 2,000 likes, guys, I will be opening up this vintage Pokemon box this very weekend. So do the do and get this video to 2,000 likes, which should be very, very easy because we get to like 1,000 something likes every video. So in Heart Squad, you guys are incredible. You guys are amazing. And I'm thankful and grateful for you guys. So thank you very much. All right. We have some vintage blister packs to open up. These are Platinum Rising Rivals. I'll go into some basic information about the set in general, but I gotta say, these were sent to me by the Classic Collector, an amazing person, a special person, and they have an incredible Pokemon card collection. Go check out their Instagram. I will leave a link in the description below to their Instagram, but or you can just type it in, the Classic Collector on Instagram. Go check them out. They were nice enough to send me these, and these are absolutely gorgeous. Platinum Rising Rivals came out in May of 2009. I believe it was like May 20th. Yeah, I did some research before this, guys. Platinum Rising Rivals, you can take a look at the back. This is where there were some incredible Level X Pokemon cards, like one of my favorites, the Alakazam Level X card. Incredible card. Um, let's see, there's 10 cards in these blister packs. And this is the second set that came out in the Platinum series after the Platinum Base Set series, which there are no shining holographic cards in these blister packs as there were in the Platinum series. But there's some very, very nice Level X cards. And I believe there are some special Pikachu cards in these blister packs as well, which we may have already seen before or not. I'm not exactly sure on that, but I do know is there's going to be some very special cards in these blister packs. And uh, yeah. These are blister packs, and these these are how they used to make the booster packs way back when. And this is not too long ago. I mean, they're very old. I think they came out, like I said, in 2009. So it was like nine years ago, almost a decade ago. So as I begin to open up this first Caesar one, I want you guys to not only get this video to 2,000 likes, but let me know in the comment section which artwork do you like the best. You can, you know, just take a look. I... For me, I don't know if it's the Leafeon, but the Leafeon just seems so, like, party. It's like fiesta. The leaves are just going everywhere. And then there's the Caesar right there. So, I'm going to start off with the Caesar first. I know it pains me to do this, but I think these are probably worth around maybe $15 to $25 each. So, it's not too crazy to be doing this. But when I open up my vintage booster packs like I did this other past weekend, which... Check the eye right here if you want to go check out some of the rarest booster packs ever opened. That's when you guys can go, oh, why is he doing that? Why is he doing that? But for now, if you want your vintage Pokemon card fix, guys, hit that subscribe button. Welcome to the Heart Squad if you are new. All right. 
Here is the first pack. You can get a closer look at it right there. The greater you power, the greater your rivals. Or the greater your power. So, all right, I think I got to all my announcements as well. It, I will look forward to meeting you guys uh, at the GameStop this upcoming weekend, but check the description before, uh, below if you want to check out some more information. All right, I, I think the card trick's just three because it's ten cards. All right, wow. Got some carrot top action going on over here. A supporter card, Flint's Willpower. And I'll go through these a little bit slower just so you can check out the artwork because, hey guys, the artwork from even several years ago is kind of better than it is now. A Machamp, GL Level 64. Wow, that is a gorgeous card. Aaron's Collection, Need Arena. And I'm not going to say the levels, but that was just kind of something they did for the series. Snorlax, Eating Apples, Bad Sleeping Habits. As I drink my energy drink right over there. A C dot. Oh, I went way too fast for them, sorry. Obviously, I guess I didn't think the artwork is as cool. A hip hop anonymous. A fortress. It's pretty cool, and it's got the very cool trainer right there, the picture of the trainers. A Eevee level 10. And anytime you get a reverse holographic Eevee, even if it's common, is very, very nice. And is it the rare? Yes, it is. A Golem, level 52. That is the rare. He's reaching for you. He's reaching to press that like button so we can open up this vintage box right here. All right. So nose goes on that pool right there. We've got the next pack. This is probably my favorite artwork, but guys, be sure to let me know in the comment section out of the four packs, which one is your favorite artwork. This is what I hate when happens when you open up blister packs. No matter old or new, you just got to open it the right way all right here's the next pack i'm not sure exactly how much new booster boxes of platinum rising rivals goes for but i'm gonna say it's probably around 300 dollars, which is pretty crazy i guess save up your booster boxes kids <laughs> all right let's check if we can get something good in this maybe a level x card underground expedition it's very cool a whiz cash Volkner's Philosophy. Celio, what's the dealio? A Quagmire from Family Guy. Kind of looks like him right there. A Trap Hinch. Munchlands. Flax. Weezing. It's a cool card. It's a very cool card. A Frost. That is a reverse holographic Frost Lass level 44. Very nice. And the rare is. A Bronzong, non-hollow rare, but I gotta say, this is a very, very cool reverse holographic rare card. Awesome. So I'll put that in the back, because getting a reverse rare is it's pretty holographic is a pretty big deal. All right, Rotom Dex is next. I'm not exactly sure what's going on in the background. It's like he's sneaking through the the internet webs, but it kind of looks like a car headlight on the front of this right there. But I'm sure it actually is something, and I just don't know what it is. But, all right, next pack, and then we got the last pack, blister pack, to open up. And let's see what we can get in here. Card trick, and, ooh, starting off with an SP energy. That is gorgeous. Even says SP on the card. A Caesar level 49. Hey, that doesn't do him justice. He shouldn't be an uncommon. He's, uh, he's on the artwork. Metal energy. Houndoom. Ooh, got Carrot Top at the bottom right. Schwiel from Sean Connery. Star you. Aaron. Munchlax again. That's a funny card. Still in the apples. Tropius is the uncommon reverse holographic with blessed fruit. And the rare is a Heracross non-hollow rare card. All right, guys, so far, nose goes on the decent pools, but it is always a treat to see some vintage artwork. The last pack, a Houndoom with Houndoom at the top right. Let's see if we can get in on the pack right there. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic, guys, from this final Platinum Rising Rivals pack. From the Classic Collector, go check out their Instagram. Let them know Leanheart sent you and say hello. They got some incredible pictures of their Pokemon card collection called the Classic Collector on Instagram. All right. Starting off with the exact same card in the other pack. Underground Expedition. Wizcash. Volkner's Philosophy. 
Kakuna Matata with the exoskeleton move. Quagsire, Munchlax, Carvana, Growith. That's awesome. That's a very funny card. I like that. There we go. Oh, I thought that was a reverse rare. Machamp GL level 64, but it's a reverse hollow. We pulled it not hollow before. And the final rare is a Vaporeon. That is a very nice looking card. Even though it was a non hollow, always love the Eevee line. Always got to love it. So. Basically, the best card was this Frost Last, but it oh, it is always incredible to see vintage artwork. Thank you to the Classic Collector for sending me these blister packs and uh, GameStop meetup this weekend. I'll put more information in the description below as well as on my social media accounts. Guys, let's get this video to 2,000 likes so I can open up this this weekend. My name is Leonard. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I'll see y'all in my next video.